Saturday out there. Yeah, Friday and Saturday. Raining in the Coliseum, I like that. Raining in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> a little dirty, all right. Okay. <laughs> Actually, does that change anything, playing in the mud? Does that change how it It'd make it funner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it'd, it'd just be a lot, a lot more dirtier. Uh, you know, more stains on the, on the on the jerseys and stuff, but not nah, same game. Have you played in like a, a mud bowl type of game before? In high school, <laughs> and that was the last time I ever played in like rain or you know something dirty like that. Every every now it's like some good grass or some turf. So when you see a quarterback who's got a lot of stains on his jersey, mm -hmm. like grass stains that he's gone down a lot, yeah. Do you take like a little, does the defense and you take a little bit of satisfaction from looking like he's been through a lot? Uh, I mean, we definitely look at a quarterback and see how he gets up. But, I mean, if he gets stains on his jacket, I mean, he's a good quarterback, very tough, uh, you know, and he'll bounce back up and get ready for the next play. Are you excited to play, you know, this offense by Caleb Williams, everything they do? Yeah, uh, it's another game. They just happen to be this next uh, opponent. Um, Caleb is a good quarterback. We just got to make sure we can sing. Yeah. So you Caleb last year. Does, do you think that helps in any way, having already played against him once in terms of preparing for this week? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, preparing always, you know, we got to watch film from, you know, previous years, this year, uh, and the games that he's doing now. So that's all we've been doing is just watching film and, you know, preparing to take on the whole SC offense. You've been used as a spy a bit this season. Mm -hmm. Would you be, you said how to contain Caleb. Uh, are you like one of the options to spy him? No, like we just got to make sure. I mean, as you see, he could, you know, break the pocket, spin. I think in Washington, he made a dude do a cart, uh, cartwheel. So it's just, you know, keeping him in front of him from, you know, the whole defensive aspect. Thinking back to uh, last year's game, uh, the implications going into that game, I think, they were still in contention for a Pac-12 championship game appearance. You guys weren't far removed from your own. Um, how does the, I guess, general mood of this game uh, differ considering, you know, their national expectations are obviously a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. You guys are coming in on a two-game slide. I mean, how much does the pride of the rivalry have to take over in, in a game like this? Uh, you know, it's rivalry week. Uh, we put all the games behind us and we're being where our feet are. And, uh, you know, today was to practice and be the best that we can. Tomorrow is the same thing. And then Saturday is, you know, to, you know, show it out what we've been doing all week. Is this your third game at Paul State? I think so, yeah. I think played my freshman year, COVID year. Yeah, and now this one. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know if there's too many UCLA players who have played three games in the past. Like, if you redshirted, you didn't play. But you played. Yeah, I played, yeah. So the three games. You gotta yeah. look that up. I think mean, that's a record. Oh you? shoot, I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah. So, did, uh, tell us a little bit about between the two games, playing in the Rose Bowl and playing in the Coliseum. Mm -hmm. What's the difference playing in the Coliseum against SC? Uh, Coliseum, of course, you see a lot more red. Um, you know, you just feel more. You know, I don't know. For me, seeing all the other, you know, the other gear, you know, all the other colors, you know, just gets me more amped up because you know they're all talking mess. Uh, Rose Bowl is just all love, but still, I want to put on a show for you know our fans. But either way, if we plan them, we plan them, and I love just playing them. So, what are your memories of that last game in the Coliseum specifically? Obviously, you guys had the big win, waving the flag afterwards. Yeah, uh, but nah, just overall, just being there and being uh, with my team, you know, celebrating the offense when they're scoring, celebrating. Q, Q Lake when, you know, he was catching the interception. I think he had two that game, um, you know, doing my job. So it was all around fun. Having been around for so long, have you found yourself like helping any of the younger players or newer players get ready for like a game like this with it being just the rivalry implications? Oh, for sure. Uh, you know, I, I take my role serious. I was, you know, a captain and a leader, but, you know, I just told everybody, you know, it's just another week and, you know, fortunate enough, it's just the team across town. So. You know, we got to lock in and, you know, get ready for this team. What is it about this rivalry specifically that kind of gets you motivated? Uh, the ones that came before us. I know uh, all the time talking to, you know, alum, how much these games mean to them. And, you know, we have that same uh, drive. Uh, you know, I, I know at least for me playing them, about to be my third time, uh, third time in the Coliseum. You know, I really want to beat them there and then, you know, walk off and, not play at UCLA anymore. Just come off with that dub. That'll be.
No, you're fine. Yeah, come off with that dub as I, you know, exit UCLA. Are there any specific alumni who might have like reached out to you or like shown up at practice um, leading up to this game? Uh, well, I know a lot of my uh, teammates from last year, uh, Mo Oslin, and Blaylock, you know, they've hit a couple of our teammates up just, you know, asking us, is y'all ready for, you know, this week, of course. Uh, uh, a couple of alum has came by, um, but yeah, they, they know how serious it is. You've obviously got a couple of alums on the coaching staff here. I mean, do they do anything differently to, you know, maybe remind you guys of what this week means? No, I mean, uh, for the most part, it's nameless, faceless opponents. Uh, you know, we're just all, you know, really dialed in. Uh, it didn't matter who it is, but, you know, it's just, once again, the team across town. And, uh, you know, I think they got the bell, so we'll get that bell back, hopefully. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.